Hey Craft Craze, I'm going to show you today how to use your pom-pom maker that came in your December box so you can get these out for Christmas. Um, these little pom-poms take quite a bit of yarn, but you only have, um, I think like a nine inch wreath, so you might be able to swing it with the two that came in your kit. Um, it depends on the size of the pom-poms that you use, but... It would be really cute to do like red, white, and green. And we did either green and white or red and white. So you don't have all three colors, but you can um, make this however you want. Make it your own, add colors or whatever. So you could do all big pom-poms if you wanted, or you could do um, all smalls, or you could do a combination of both, big and small. Um, so it's however you want to do it, especially if you have three colors, you could do multiples and then you're just going to kind of place them around your wreath to cover that green foam. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. So these pom pom makers are really cool. You have several different sizes and these are the sizes. So this is the biggest one. This is the next biggest. So they're super close in size. And then we have the two smaller ones, which you can really tell a difference on those. Um, I'm going to show you how to use one of the smaller ones. So you have these four colors. I'm gonna use the yellow, which is this size right here. They all work the same way. But what I'm gonna do is open these up together. So you have two parts. They do, see, you have four total, but you're gonna open them in halves like this, okay? So keep these two ends together and what you're gonna do is take some of your yarn and you're gonna start to wrap it. So we're wrapping right here around this rainbow or this half circle. Just start that yarn right here on the edge and start to wrap. I'm gonna start on the inside. I'm left-handed so everything's backwards. Um, I'm gonna hold that there and I'm gonna start to wrap. So wrap both of those pieces together like this and just wrap that whole little half rainbow there, half circle, I don't know why I'm calling it a rainbow. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter like whether it's you know perfectly lined up, you just wanna get it full. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't see any of that yellow peeking through the yarn. And you can play around with it too and, and see, you know, how full you like them or how much yarn you want to use. Um, you can also use different types of yarn to make different looking pom-poms. These are really cute as tassels on um, bookmarks or keychains. But we're going to make a cute little wreath. Okay, so I have that side pretty full. And I'm not even going to cut it. What I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to wrap this over to this side. And then I'm just going to jump right over here. I'll cut that later. And I'm just going to start wrapping this side now. It's kind of crazy how easy it is to make these. It's so fun. I've not tried multiple colors, but I guess you could could try multiple colors on the same tool. See if you can get a multicolored pom-pom. Like I said, I've not done that, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. All right, so once you get that wrapped, like the other one, you're just gonna fold those in like that. And then you're gonna take scissors and right up the middle here, there's a crack. You're going to take your scissors right along that, and you're going to just cut those yarn pieces right up the center, like that. Then you're going to flip it and do the same thing on the other side. The 
then cut that. I guess we could have cut this first, but go ahead and cut that, that piece that's still connected. And then we're gonna take a piece of yarn for the center and right through that crack, we're gonna wrap that yarn, push it all the way through, we'll flip it over and tie it in a double knot. Just like this. And then we'll cut all these extra pieces. And then all you do is open it up and it's ready. Oh, it pops apart in the center. So you want to pull this open and then just pull your pom pom right off, put that back together and it's ready to go again. Super simple. Okay. So here's our pom pom. Just fluff it out. You can trim up the edges a little bit, make it even. There you go. So it's ready to use. So I would suggest um, after you paint this believe in whatever colors you want, glue it down and um, take your twine and you can either glue or staple it onto the back of this believe piece. It's gonna hang in the center of your wreath. So you can wait until you get the pom-poms on or you could go ahead and do it. Once you get those stapled or glued to the back, you're gonna just wrap it around the top of your wreath and then create a little hanger for it. And then you'll add your pom-poms around. So again, um, you'll just kind of, you know, randomly place these wherever you want in whatever color pattern you want. You can try glue, but I would really suggest floral pins. Um, you'll stick those right through the yarn and straight into your little styrofoam wreath and they will hold the best. So floral pins is definitely what I would suggest you to use. Um, we could not fit that in the box budget. So you're on your own for those, but you could try um, glue if you wanted. Hot glue won't work. It'll melt your styrofoam. So you'd want something that holds pretty quickly so they don't all fall off. Um, but again, just arrange these whatever sizes you want all the way around. And you'll have a fluffy pom-pom wreath with a little believe hanging down in the middle. You got your little Grinch and you're ready for Christmas. So uh, make sure to post your finished ones in the group and let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you guys later.